I'm now joined by Shamil Jasub, who is CEO of Vodacom, and he's on the line now to talk uh, about their near till bid. Good afternoon to you, Shamil. Give us the state of play and remind us uh, what this bid is about and what its effect uh, you expect to be. Good afternoon, David. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, I think uh, where, where we are currently with the deal uh, is that effectively it's before the uh, Competitions Commission and the um, regulator, ICASA, uh, for, for approval of the deal. Uh, the deal was a 7 billion rand uh, deal where we, uh, where Vodacom acquires uh, Neotel. And effectively, that then gives us the ability to, to, to go and play in the fixed space. And we, you know, Vodacom's uh, constantly looking for new growth opportunities. So we see uh, the fixed penetration being under 7% in South Africa with developed economies at, at more than 75%. As a, as, a great, as a great opportunity. So what we'd like to do is to roll out fiber to the home and fiber to the business um, in a bigger way and effectively over the next couple of years roll out about a, about a million connections. Uh, so connect to about a million businesses and, and households. Yep. And, um, and so, you know, and I think it's um, because of the explosion of data, it's a much needed uh, initiative for the country, if you like. And, and I think you know the, the reality with Neotel is that it realizes that it needs a it needs a massive amount of investment to be able to excel. And, and you know uh, after the process, uh, effectively Vodacom wants to capitalize Neotel properly and capture that opportunity. Well, it certainly sounds like there are potential synergies. Uh, with me in the studio is Dobek Peter Shamil. Uh, he is the MD of Africa Analysis. Welcome to the studio, oh, thank Dobek. Thank you very much. You have a question yeah. for Shamil? Yes, Shamil. Hi. How are you? Very well, thanks. Um, yeah. All the best for the new year. Uh, I want, the question I'm, uh, I'd like to pose is whether um, there is a medium to long term strategy uh, of Vodacoms to fully integrate Neotel into Vodacom structures, or uh, are the two entities going to continue operating as separate um, organizations in the market? And when you speak, for instance, of rolling out fiber to the home, uh, fiber to the business, uh, is that going to be under the, under the Vodacom brand or the Neotel brand? Uh, the, the strategy for us is really to make sure that we keep Neotel as a standalone company. And the reason we want to keep it as a standalone company is really focus and, and, um, and, 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 and fix and really tuck our fixed uh, business that we have and that we managed to grow over the last couple of years, um, which is still small, um, you know, when, when, when one looks at the, the bigger market, and tuck that in under Neotel and then do fiber to, to, to the business, fiber to the home uh, from, the, from, from Neotel. Uh, we are currently busy with rolling out fiber to the home and fiber to the business in Vodacom itself, but that will all be integrated into Neotel uh, in time once we're successful. Shamil, are you expecting uh, competition issues here? These are big companies. There are a few big companies, and there will then be fewer big companies. Well, I think, you know, really for me, David, the issue really comes from the perspective that um, Neotel realized that it needs a big capital investment. Um, and to be a very successful SNO, uh, the reality is someone who's willing to put the, the required investment in is, you know, has to basically step up and take on that initiative. So um, we currently spend about eight and a half billion a year uh, in in uh, in South Africa, and I think what we'd like to do is to increase that investment and really start to utilize and play in the fixed space as well. Um, and I think that's that's really the, the big opportunity. So from a competition perspective. You know, we have about 2% market share in fixed. Neotel is just over 10%. So you're looking at us being a 12% player. So, but, but obviously, if we capitalize it properly, you know, Telcom will then get some serious competition uh, in, in, in the fixed space. So, yes, there will be lesser companies, but I think you'll also have more, 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 uh, a more effective uh, fixed operator going forward. Well, that 2% plus 10%, I suppose, is the key number there. That was Shamil Jasub, who is CEO of Vodacom. Thanks for joining us there.